What do you do if you get arrested for sexual exploitation in Seattle? Well, my name is Lance Fryer. I'm the owner of the law offices of Lance Fryer. We're a criminal defense firm who's been defending charges like sexual exploitation for more than 20 years. And if you've been arrested for this particular charge in Seattle, you're probably pretty worried. It was a scary situation. There are a lot of officers involved. Uh, you're embarrassed and you don't know what to do next. Well, I'm here to tell you that not all hope is lost. What is the charge sexual exploitation? Basically, Seattle has made their own code, which cities are allowed to do, that redefines patronizing a prostitute. Basically, sexual exploitation is offering or agreeing to pay a fee or anything of value to another person to engage in some type of sexual con contact with them. And so oftentimes, a law enforcement will set up a sting, they'll put an ad in the back of a paper or nowadays on the internet, and then uh, the defendant will go and meet the purported person placing the ad, and turns out it's an undercover uh, police person. And uh, you get arrested, and now you don't know what to do. So the first thing to realize is that not all of these cases get charged. Oftentimes, uh, there will be a whole bunch of people arrested in one operation. And if we have eight people contact our office and hire us for this, maybe five of them will get charged. And how do we know who gets charged? Well, we can contact the prosecutor's office and sort of point out problems with the case. Uh, the prosecutor may look at someone's record and the circumstances, but not everyone gets charged. You still need an attorney to help, but it's not a 100% chance you're going to be charged. If you are charged, typically they're going to send you a criminal complaint and summons in the mail. So you're going to get a piece of mail. So be watching for that. Uh, you may not want anyone else to know uh, at home that this happened. And so uh, you need to be careful about that. If we're involved, we're going to help you watch um, and help watch the computer so to decrease the chances of you being surprised. Uh, once you are charged and go to court, then your attorney uh, may be able to get your first court date waived, and then your attorney is going to be able to go to court with you as many times as is necessary to get the best possible result. We're going to try to make it so you don't have to talk about it, so you don't have to be embarrassed any further. And what are possible results? Well, it changes from time to time in Seattle. Sometimes they'll, we can get them to offer uh, types of solutions that don't result in, in a conviction. Um, uh, there's usually some hefty costs involved. There's some mandatory fees that keep getting changed from time to time. There's mandatory counseling. Um, if you had your car impounded, you have to pay an extra fee to get your car out. But usually a good attorney can negotiate a result for you that you're going to find acceptable, that's going to keep you out of jail. You're going to have to jump some hoops. But for the most part, uh, Seattle often looks at these things as an educational uh, experience. So you could understand that um, from Seattle's point of view that it's not a victimless crime. And uh, so if you're in this situation and you have a sexual exploitation charge, we have a good idea what you're going through. Um, give us a call. We're sensitive. Uh, we're careful. And we'll do everything we can to help. We'll be there for you. Thank you.